Saturday? Oh wait, no, that's Sunday. The Good morning, Meredith. Sunday. It's an envelope hey, today with an incomplete address on it. It only says Mickey in June, Lake Campground, Providence Oaks. Do you think you can find that? Mickey. Yeah. yeah. I think I know where that is. I think I know where that is. All right. Have a great day. Thanks. Oh, by the way, Frank, I wanted to ask you something. I will not babysit Mildred's cats. <laughs> no, it's about something else. What's in those envelopes for you? We're spending legal. What's, in, What's those in those envelopes for you? Oh, that's just for stamps. Saves them the hassle of driving up here. Hey, I gotta get back to work. Catch you later. What's the hassle? It's like a minute away. All right. Well, where was this? Gotta pick up Lori's movie box. All right. <sighs> Mickey, where was Mickey? Go up to Robert. Stand up. Not too much going on today. We got the campground over there. Boop, 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 boop. Morning, P.O. How about a pet peeve to start the weekend? Or will it be a positive? Dina Banks has the answer. P.O. Positive or pet peeve? Jack, right. I've had this pet peeve for years. We've got a beautiful lake and a nice boulevard, but why don't we have one of those coin-operated binoculars? I like the idea, Tina. I wish I could, like, see the envelope Let's take a closer again, because I actually, like, totally forgot now. where that was. Oh, I forgot to grab the package. My bad. My bad. Alright, where's your room? Pick it Up the steps we go. I have a feeling they're not going to answer. Nope. No answer. Back is right here. I can't. Why can't I? Oh. There you go. Enjoy your package. We got some it. mail over here. That is not on the to-do list. So I'm not gonna worry about it too much. Pump yeah. that in there. Alright, man.
wonder if... I wonder if that's a neighbor's. Okay, we have the letter for that. Is there someone? No, okay, no. Not there. That's not them. There's someone over here that needs package? Yeah, package and uh, delivery. I mean, a uh, mail and a delivery. And they're both being delivered, but you know what I mean. Got this person's mail off. Ooh, interesting. Okay, that's an odd thing to say about someone's mail, but what do you know? Person's getting a package. Into a street. Oh, that's heavier than I thought. Pretty heavy. Ding dong, guess who? Um. Hmm. Well, I guess nobody's home. Huh? It's your package. Enjoy. Give me a No, 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 no. Oop. Oop. movie box. Jesus Christ. Sam. Hey, Lori. Did you watch The Love Bug? Hey, Miss W. Yes, I did, and I guess I liked it. You can say you loved it. You don't have to hide it from me, Lori. You can say you loved it. I guess it wasn't bad. It was really fun, actually. See? Ancient isn't all bad. You still ready for Sunday? I have never been more uh -huh. ready. It's going to be rad. Mm, yeah, totally tubular, right? Yeah, totally tubular, right? Uh, sure, Miss W. See you Sunday. See you Sunday. All right. I think this is going up to Bear Creek now. What's this? Where are we going now? What's this? Return Lori's movie box to Angie. Okay. There's a Magby in the chat if anybody wants to pokey catch that son of a bitch. Going back to Robert's place. Robert, I got some mail for you. Hopefully it's good news this time. I'm still holding this. Why? Mr. Robert. Hi, Robert. Here's the mail. Thanks, Meredith. And, um, sorry for leaving all of a sudden yesterday. No problem. Leaking roofs don't fix themselves. No problem. Leaking roofs don't fix themselves. Well, it was just... I needed some space. I think I've gotten a bit too used to being on my own. Ugh, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Cool. I can Thanks. Just... I just don't want you to feel weird about it. I was the weirdo. There's nothing wrong with a little There's weirdness. There's nothing wrong with a little weirdness. I just wanted you to know that. Anyways, let's see what's in the mail. A dentist appointment. Wait, why am I sharing that with you? 
So no news regarding those apartments? Maybe you need a shrink appointment? Okay. So no news regarding those apartments? Nothing. Oh, Hallelujah. You. This gives me a bit more peace of mind to work on my wild card plan. Wild, wild card, card plan? plan? Wild card plan. Was, yes. Also, highly confidential. <laughs> oh, sorry. Good, good okay. luck with that. Good luck with that. Thanks. Thanks. All right. Let's yeah. be on. Reversing this side of the lake. Oh, we've been over here before. We made a full loop around the lake. The duck may swim on the lake, but my daddy owns the lake. Oh, oh well. Get that again. Two for, oh, three for three. Alright, here we go. Imagine having to walk all the way down there to get your mail. So they might have like an ATV or something to help with that, but... Let me just climb down the rocks to get my mail real quick. Alright, let's go. I wonder if that van's still there. Yeah, that van's still there. Just chilling. Chilling in the ground. to go. Hey, we had to deliver something to the motel and the guy was being a jerk off. It's where we go now. <laughs> Jesus. Shitness. Thank you for the hundred biddies, Camille. Hundred biddies. Deliver mail to the campgrounds. Head right up in here. There's also something here, too. I remember Dad telling me, Meredith, the picnic area is for the older kids. Meredith. Let me go ahead and upgrade the Dixper crate thing. Oh, we got another Dixper crate drop to do. That resets the biddies back to 90. There we go. And let's go ahead and get that drop going, actually. Mm -mm -mm -mm. 10 for jump scares. We'll do terror. We'll do fans. Fortnite and fans. I have two phasmophobia. Damn that. Um. Okay, cool. 
here in chat we'll generate that link and we'll copy that link i don't know if it'll actually put it in the chat but there it is there's chat i'll just copy and paste this then there we go manually unpin it and there's the free dicks per crate drop if anybody wants to get a free crate for Dick Spa. For the Dick's Spa. I'll go ahead and resume. You look like you need some mail. Hello there. Hey, how are you? I may have mail for you. Is it addressed to Mickey or June? Or both? Uh, to both. Here you go. I like his jacket. Oh, sweet brother Damien, savior in the hour of darkness. What? Never mind him. He's a bit stressed out. We were a bit low on paper. Nice to meet you. What's your name? I'm Meredith. Nice to meet you, too. Woo! What kind, of, kind paper? of paper? Probably a bit of cash and some rolling paper. Ooh. Ah, that kind of paper. Ah. That kind of paper. <laughs> no harm, no in, harm that. in that. Amen, sister. Thanks for the delivery. You're welcome. Are you guys on vacation? No. So, are you guys on vacation? Sort of. Although, I guess you need a job for a vacation. Joan! Can you get in here, please? Now! Oh, that's my cue. It was nice meeting you. That's my cue. Sweet, Meredith. Can you, like, not tell the authorities your whole life story? Authority? I'm authority. I ain't no authority. I shall have to do work. <laughs> There's there no go. gingerbread. There we go. Now Dixper should work with the game. Actually gonna go ahead and refund you that Dixper crate Camille. I mean that Dixper skill. I'll go ahead and return that. There. Now you should have it again. I think we got one more thing to do. Yeah, then we're going back to the post office. There it is. Ah, ah, ah. Here's the farm again. Oh, that laggy. Oh, it's because the dick spur was uh, connecting. <laughs> traffic laws. What are traffic laws? Wow, wow, wow. I'm going to sleep. Love you, bye. Love you, bye, Camille. Have a good sleep. Thank you for the pities again. We'll go drop the VCR off to Angie. Go back to the post office and their work day. Grab the thing out of the back. Oh, Angie, we got something for you. Kung Fu Kid. <laughs> Hi, Angie. Oh, hey. So, hey, I dropped off and picked up those movies. Right, right. Um, 
She seemed positive. I think it might actually work. She seemed <clears throat> positive. I think this might actually work. Hmm. Well, it better. You sound cynical. You sound cynical. I'm sorry. It's just that business is slow and... Well, I don't really want to talk about it. Could you just pick up the two new movies and deliver them, please? Hmm. Jaws and the Dirty Dozen. I'm on it. Don't you worry your pretty little head about it. I'm on it. Don't you worry your pretty little head about it. Mm-hmm. Great. Thanks. I appreciate it. Bye. Fucking bitch. What? Right. I regret doing shit with you now. And now we have to go and fucking drop these. What the fuck is that? Oh, that's not that. Mr. Mackey. Alrighty then. Guy, I almost ran you over. Open road. Wide open, baby. He's probably gonna pick Jaws. I guarantee it. I guarantee you he's picking jaws. Uh, pick up. Mr. Mackey. Oh, he's on a boat. I'm on a boat. I'm on a boat. Mr. Mackey, I've got this movie box for you. Leave it on the porch of the cabin, could ya? Uh, I need to know which movie you prefer. I need to know if you prefer a war movie or a shark movie. Huh? Movies? Uh, just pick something. I'm sure it'll be fine. Jaws All it right. is. Jaws it is. Have a nice day. All right, well, that was easy enough. There's a cherim in the chat if anybody wants to poke you catch that son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Sam's going for it. Sunday we should have off. I think Sunday's a no post day. We probably don't have to work for Sunday. Bad boy. Just wanna watch the stars fall. Would you? All right. Wise residence Saturday evening. Hey, Em, it's me, Kay. <laughs> wow, I just like instantly dialed your parents' number. Superpowers. <laughs> Probably just muscle memory or something like that, right? Or yeah. maybe it's like that thing where you smell something and it instantly triggers this mega old memory you didn't even know you had. Know what I mean? Oh man, I had that once when Barry bought me lilacs and the smell instantly mentally teleported me to when I was like six years old and fell out of a tree. And I ended I've up with all happen. this lilac smelling tree gunk all over my face. You remember that, right? What if it's like that with old phone numbers? You go must dial M, and then your brain just triggers your fingers to dial? Man, 
Anyway, I uh, didn't call about that, obviously. I was thinking of maybe taking a stroll around the lake this Sunday, clear my head, and then Maureen suggested maybe you'd like to tag along. Not that I'm asking because of Maureen, of course. Just thought it might be fun to check out the old hangouts and the lake sites and all. If you do want to join, I'll be at the watchtower overlooking the lake at 11 a.m. Sunday. I'll probably hang around a bit, so I'll see you when I see you. Sunday morning watchtower. Be there or be square. Uh, yeah, we can meet Kay. The Countess and the Carpenter. Chapter 2. Cecilia hated old Mr. Nabenshoe's table manners. The way he slurped rhubarb into his digestive system was quite the dampener on Cecilia's appetite. She wanted to get out of here and drink and dance with the common folk. Every night, she heard their merry noises travel through her bedroom window. The sounds of real life. I love narrator's voices. It's so soothing. Sunday morning. Oh, add it. 87. I almost forgot how relaxed life is here. There's so much space. And people just start conversations with you as if they don't have to be somewhere else. Which is probably true. So far, I delivered quite a few packages and letters, home movies, and even a living creature. I wonder what next week will bring. But not before ending this week with two meetings with friends. And an old one and a very new one. Peter, they're cheating. Should be interesting. Should I just come up? Come on up! You just have to watch your step on the third ledge. Should be good. What? Have to what on what? I have to what on on the what now? It's fine. Cross my heart and hope to die. Scout's honor. Hope slash die climbing this tower. Uh, hope I don't die climbing this tower. Oh, hi. Hope I thought that was a slash. Hi there, good to Hi see there. you. Good to see you. <laughs> so glad you made it. Isn't it nice up here? Sure is. That view gets me every time. Sure is. Oh, that view gets me every time. <laughs> Sounds like you're starting to remember what's great about P.O. This reminds me of, um, oh, GG, Sam, I didn't see you caught the cherim. Um, yeah, this game reminds me a lot of uh, Firewatch. After school, taking about whatever I feel like. Coming up here. Those times we took some pie up from the diner after school and sat here talking about whatever we felt like. Oh. Mm, oops, my bad. Oh, yeah. How about that afternoon I snuck in some beers from Uncle Stan and they were really disgusting and you Uncle puked Stan. all over the rail? In fact, wasn't it kind of where you're standing right now? Oh my gosh, it totally was. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ew, oh, did you have to bring that up again? I was not counting on getting that much in touch with my younger self. <laughs> I'm glad you're back. I kind of missed having you around. I feel the same way. I feel the same way. Oh. So, what's life been like for you since you left? Positives? Negatives? You know, I went to university, got a job. And maybe now it's time for something and different. And maybe now it's time for something different. Is it now? Providence Oaks different enough for you? Well, maybe it is, and maybe it isn't. Mm. Ooh, that sounds juicy. Is this about something or someone? I'm glad we can have these adult conversations now. I'm glad we can have these adult conversations now. Oh, there she goes with the crazy eyes. M still stands for mind your own beeswax, I see. <laughs> all right, all right, I'm backing off. What about you? What about you? 
Really? What about you? Yeah, that one. How have you that been? One. I mean, really. Really, really? It's been great, and it's been tough. You know, I guess it's like that for everyone. I mean, I wanted to go to art school, yes, but turns out I wasn't good enough, or at least that's what they told me when I applied. So I decided to stay and do my own thing. Isn't that what art school is for? Music, performance stuff, you know. I picked Eight up some better. shifts at the diner, Barry and I reconnected, we got married, and then Max came along. You haven't met him yet, have you? He turns 13 in a few months. Time flies. Anyway, having Max gave things a different rhythm, but I still continued with my music. Even managed to get a bit of a buzz going in Portland. Lined up a few interesting gigs. Tough to balance, but fun. Mm, and then? And then? Yeah, just like that, Uncle Stan got sick. Hit him and Aunt Mo like a ton of bricks. It was crushing. There I was, Aww. just about to get somewhere with my music. But I just couldn't let them down. So I stayed. Helped out nursing Uncle Stan. Picked up his ships at the diner. Sounds like you really stepped up. Sounds like you really stepped up. Well, in hindsight, it was a lot. In the moment, though, you don't stop to think. You just do it. Where was Barry in all this? Barry was actually really great. We divided tasks back at the house, and he took care of Uncle Stan when he could. No questions asked. He was just there. Mm hmm. And what now? And what now? Well, Mo has offered a couple of times to put my name above the door at the diner. Up until now, it felt like too much. Too soon. Too definitive. But I don't know. Maybe if she asks again, I'll think about it. The way things ended up, it may not have been part of my master plan. But I got to spend some of the most precious moments mm. of my life with the most precious people I know. Got to say goodbye to Uncle Stan and be there for Mo. He basically raised me. I'm grateful I got to do that for them. And I built a family of my own right here in good old P.O. And one day... Those kids will hurl all over this rail, just like we did. Who <laughs> <laughs> did? Who uh, did? So, yeah, it's been tough. But looking back, I wouldn't trade any of it for the world. Mm, that's so great. That's so great, Kay. I'm glad at least one of us grew up to be a well-rounded individual. Is there a manual I can borrow? Well, after you left, I had to raise myself, didn't I? <sighs> So, ready to descend to the world below? Uh, yeah, seems like it's yeah. time. Seems like it's time. Come on, then. Lilla Lake. Weiss residence, Sunday evening. The phone's always ringing. Hello? You are speaking to Monster Deal Central. How may I help you? I'm sorry, I'm not interested in telemarketing. I'm sorry, I'm not interested in telemarketing. Meredith, silly, it's me, Steve. Please, tell me to calm down. We are so close to a deal. Add it 87, in shops all across America. M -m 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 monster deal. Oh, that's so awesome, oh, tell me more. Wow, that is so awesome. Tell me more. Okay, okay, I met up with this big retailer, right? They read our great pitch. They loved it, and they want to buy 250,000 copies of Added 87. 250,000. Multiply that by, like, 35 bucks. Imagine $35 for a computer. That's millions of dollars what? in revenue. That's millions of dollars of revenue! M -m -m millions and and it's just the start. Listen. I've got the contract right here. I'm sending over a copy. You should have it tomorrow. Please, please, check, check, double it's check. Sunday. Check it right away. I want your blessings before I sign on the dotted line, okay? Gotcha, Steve. Don't worry about it. Gotcha, Steve. Don't worry about it. Awesome. I'll be in touch again Tuesday evening. I'm so excited. And I just can't hide it. Maybe he ain't such a dickish boss after all. It's official. I love I horror love movies. I love horror movies. 
A Nightmare on Elm Street is radical. It was amazing. Thank you for watching with me, Miss W. <laughs> you weren't scared at all? You weren't scared at all? Nope. Told you. Man, I wish my parents would let me watch these movies. I can't wait until I move out. Mm, move out? Aren't you 15 years old or move something? Move out? Aren't you 15 years old or something? Almost 16, and yeah. Don't get me wrong. I love tinkering and I love working in my father's shop, but it's just so boring sometimes. I want to see more of the world. I want to meet more people. I'm sure you've noticed, but there's not many teenagers here in Providence Oaks. And I'm homeschooled, so I don't have many friends to hang out with either. Oh. Your parents don't let you watch horror and movies? your parents don't let you watch horror movies? Exactly. It's so frustrating. They want me to work in my dad's shop once I'm done with school. And I'm just not sure if I want that, you know? And you left when you were younger, so I figured maybe you had some advice for me? Oh. Well, maybe. I think... You should really give school a you chance. You should really give school a chance. What? There are quite a few universities uh, uh, that will let you tinker on things way bigger than just cars. That sounds amazing. But a homeschooler like me? Mm -mm. I'll help you once the time comes sure to apply. Sure they would. And you know what? I'll help you once the time comes to apply. But you'd still have to study really hard. I can do that. Thank you so much, Meredith. For talking to me and stuff. You're very welcome, Lori. I had a lot of fun tonight. <laughs> me too. I should get home soon. Later, Meredith. Later. Peace. Doses. Yeah.